Oh my, you took out that water from before, right? Aw. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Not allowed. Oh. What is this? Oh, that's my pee. Oh, happy pee. Make me feel very, very nice. Oh. Really? Well, they're not labeled or in its containers, so I don't know what this is. Oh, no, no, no problem. They're not drugs. Oh, my, you can't say that word here. What? I said not drugs. Yeah, I'm going to get this checked. Great, now we're going to be late. Could I be them in the way? Oh, my, why would you bring that? It's not what you think. It's a massage. So it's exactly what I think it is. You use peel very nice, no stress. Face roller, it's, it's a face roller. Interesting design I decided to go with. You get to one, I show you how to use it. Oh my, please stop. True tales from the skies, let's go. Mm. Uh. Ma'am, what are you doing? I'm trying to open the window so I can throw out my baby diaper. Ma'am, we're on a plane. I know. What's your point? And even if we weren't on a plane, that's still messed up. So please, just give me the diaper. Steven, can you please give the lady in 15C her breakfast? Good morning, ma'am. Here's your omelet. Is there anything else I can grab you? No. Bring me mother. Mother? I I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Mother! Bring me mother! Whose mother? Your mother? My mother? Mother Teresa? I don't know what you want me to do, lady! Mother! Mother, mother, mother! Ma'am, that's an omelet. Steven, you're not supposed to yell at the passengers! It's not my fault she's not making any sense! Mother! The bring me mother! Mother! She's talking about the egg's mother? She wants chicken! Mother You're so handsome boy. Why you do poor job? I'm a plastic surgeon. Oh, my, my. please, very much. Uh, me lift. I want to lift. Give me discount. Oh, my, stop being so embarrassing. No, I can't. No? Why? Because you're perfect. Please, is there a doctor on board? It's an emergency. Oh, I can help. I'm a doctor. She doesn't look so good. What's the diagnosis, doctor? So my diagnosis is some acne, rosacea, maybe some mild melasma around the sides. I could definitely have helped her with this if only she were still breathing. Excuse me, what? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Joyce Park, dermatologist. Oh, shit. Oh my God. It feels nice, right? I have been doing a thousand squats a day. I'm so flattered that you've noticed. Actually, I don't think you got it right the first time. I think you need to really get in there and squeeze it. You don't understand how nice it is. Like it's really firm. Squeeze it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. <laughs> I'm gonna be late for my connecting flight. Is there another way out? I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. That's the only way out. Well, can't you tell all these people to sit down so I can get out or open that door? I can't. There's no jet bridge at this door. I don't need a jet bridge. It's fine. Just open it. You need it to get off. We're not in the sky. I can get down. It's like a long way down. Lady, just open the stupid door right now. I need to go. I'm so- No. I miss this flight. It's all gonna- You can't- You gonna refund me? You gonna refund me? Is that what you- Okay, fine. Hey, do you have a ladder or something? Oops. Ah! Merry Christmas, everyone! I know it sucks we're like working today, but I think we can still have some fun. How about we play Secret Santa with things we find on the plane? Yeah, let's do it! Okay, pick a name. We'll meet back in 30 minutes. I got you, Heather. Leftover first class chocolates. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. I got you too. No way! How fun! I thought you meant buy something from the duty free cart, so I got you skincare. Holy crap! These are so expensive! Thanks! My turn! 
Merry Christmas, Lindsay! I love you, you know me so well. Are those from our bar cart? Because if you get caught with those when we land, you're gonna get fired. Uh, That's why I get rid of the evidence. And here's your gift. <laughs> Seat 7A. Can I help you? Are you with anybody? No, I'm alone. Meet me in the toilet. That's how I met your father. Hello, I'm checking in. Thank you, and will you be checking in any luggage today? Just my backpack. All right, so there will be a backpack fee, and I noticed you're wearing a jacket, so a jacket charge. No, I'll just take it off, and I'll just put it into my backpack. <laughs> So a jacket and a backpack charge, and will you be wanting a window or an aisle seat? Oh, uh, okay, uh, aisle please. Great, so there'll be an aisle seat B. No, just give me whatever seat is free. Only the middle seats by the toilets are free, but they're all taken, so. <laughs> so I have to pay regardless. That's correct, so aisle fee, and I'll be printing your boarding pass, so print fee. It's okay, I I'll just use my phone. Right? Internet feed then, and will you be using the toilet during the flight? I don't know. Maybe. You never know. You should get it just in case. So, there'll be a toilet fee, flush fee, toilet paper usage fee, and we also have cleaning charge, odor removal fee, and convenience fee. So, will you be needing a seatbelt? Oh, come on! That's mandatory! <laughs> No. Uh, give me the seatbelt. Smart choice. So with the seatbelt fee and safety charge, a total comes to $1.2 million. What's your type? I like a man who's sexy. Oh yeah? Then what am I? Excuse me, what's the holdup? I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. Yeah, hurry up! I'm sorry, sir. We're just waiting for one more VIP passenger and we should be on our way shortly. Well, it doesn't matter to you. You're getting paid anyways. Actually, no. You're not getting paid right now? We don't get paid until the doors close and we push back. That's crazy! Aren't you pissed off? This is my pissed off face, sir. Hey, dudes. What's up? Sorry, I'm late. Hurry up and sit down! Stop! I don't think my wife came on board. She's not in her seat. What do you mean, sir? We got into a fight at the airport and then she just walked off and I thought she boarded the plane, but she's not in her seat. I'm sure she's on board, sir. The ground staff has confirmed everyone is on board. Have you checked the toilets by any chance? I did! I looked everywhere she's not in the airplane! Please, don't take off! Don't worry, sir. We won't until we locate your wife. Hey, what's going on? He says his wife is missing. He thinks she didn't board the plane. What? Oh, she's on board for sure. There's no missing passengers. Can you just let the captain know about the situation and I'll just do a PA, okay? Oh my gosh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking for a passenger right now. Could Anita Cox please make yourself known to cabin crew? Anita Cox. Thank you. Excuse me, it's been like two hours. I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. This is all my fault. I should've just bought her the bag she wanted. Sir, the captain told us that we cannot delay this flight any longer. We have double checked to make sure that she is on this flight. Her ticket has been scanned, so she's definitely on here. Unfortunately, we will be offloading her luggages. Would you like for us to offload your luggage as well? Offload my luggage too, please. Certainly, sir. What we need to do now is actually check every single person's boarding pass just to double check again. Dude, leave her! Ma'am, as you heard from the announcement, we are looking for a missing passenger. May I please check your boarding pass? Ma'am, we've been looking for you for the last two hours. Didn't you hear the public announcement? Your husband is very worried about you. So? I didn't want to talk to him. 
Ma'am, you've delayed this aircraft for two hours. Many of these passengers will miss their connecting flights because of you. So, that's not my problem. You know what? You're right. You shouldn't be a problem either. Ah! Hell, death do us part, baby! Ah! You lost my luggage! Oh, hello. I didn't lose anything, but I will do my best to assist you. May I please get your passport and your luggage tag? You, the company, same, same. Thank you. Okay, yep, your luggage is missing. That's what I said. Did you pick up your luggage when you transferred flights? No, you're supposed to send it to my final destination, which is here, but it's not here. Actually, because you flew internationally, you had to pick up your bags, clear customs, recheck your bags for this domestic flight. How was I supposed to know that? We do tell you when you check in and also prior to the plane landing. Well, if someone told me, I would have picked it up, but clearly no one told me. Let me just call the other airport and locate your bag, right? Hello, hi. I was wondering if you can help me locate a lost luggage. Great, uh, it's luggage tag A35456. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Makes sense. Uh-huh, yep, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. They found it? No, they couldn't find it anywhere. Your bag just disappeared. Poof. Did you buy insurance? Oh. Well, can they look harder? It has to be there. Luggage doesn't just get up and walk away on its own. giving you shade. Excuse me, it's way too hot on this plane. Can you please turn down the temperature? No, 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 mm -mm. I was just going to ask you to turn up the heat because I'm freezing. Well, we set the plane temperature to around 22 to 24 degrees, which is usually a comfortable temperature for everyone on the plane. Oh, comfortable? Okay, why don't you tell that to my nipples, huh? Do they look comfortable to you? Oh, is this what we're doing now? We're battling it out? Okay, yeah. You want to see something? Look at my pits! It's too hot! Oh. <laughs> uh, we don't have any blankets on this flight, um, but how about I lend you my jacket? I can bring that to you, and uh, how about a nice ice-cold beverage to help cool you down? I am not wearing someone else's clothes. You think a cold beverage is going to help this? The easiest solution is for you to just turn up the heat, okay? And if not, fine, I'll be filing a complaint. No, turn down the temperature or I'm filing a complaint. So pretty much a lose-lose situation for me. Ah! Oh no! Hold on. What would you like for your snack? What you have? We have here dark chocolate nuggets, coconut keto clusters, coconut clusters, pecans and caramel, and almond nuggets. Anything okay? The almonds are my favorite. Try that one. Can I have a snack? Oh. Sure. <laughs> Pretty lady, can I have a snack? <gasps> you are so cute! Here, take two. I didn't get one. Can I have one snack? Oh, of course, sweetheart. There you go. Ama! <laughs> Good job, yeah! I'm still gonna see if I can hang out with Captain Eric when we land. I just have one advice for you, okay? Before you start anything, ask him if he's married. Ask him if he's married. What? what, what? Why do I have to ask that? Okay, so for example, you forget to ask if he's married. So in the middle of you watching a movie, his wife calls and obviously you're gonna get upset. So what do you do? You cut a huge hole in his crotch area and the one and only uniform that he has to wear tomorrow to work. And then he'll have the audacity to call you a psycho. And then he'll just make the flight back like really uncomfortable, you know? That was like a really specific example. 
Excuse me, I just want to say you're gorgeous. Thank you. She's all right. And who might you be? Her boyfriend. Uh, for now and every day that she's the most beautiful person on this planet before I throw you off the plane! You are the most beautiful person on this planet. You're all scaring me. Maybe now I don't want to date a pilot. Sweetie, no! Just like how there's a lot of great guys on the ground, there's a lot of great guys in the air, okay? Or equal amounts of trash on the ground as there is in the air. Lindsay! That's depressing. What? It's true. That's why I also like girls. Excuse me, what? I didn't know you like girls too. Yeah, it's called insurance. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 18, let's go! Do we get any airport perks while we're working? Of course we do! The thing I hate most about airports are these awful long lines. When we're working, we go straight to the front of the line for all the security checks. We get to bypass the customs line. And the valet has our luggage waiting for us. And we go outside where a shuttle like this will be waiting for us to take us to our hotel. Now that's VIP service. I'm so cool. It's time for boarding, so I'm just headed to the gate. Excuse me, you dropped something. That's trash. Oh, well, the garbage can's just right here. Great, so do your job and put it there. I'm back. Oh my god, so this cleaner person had the audacity to tell me to do her job and pick up trash off the floor. I know! Like, she should be thanking me. I'm like giving her something to do. Oh my god, I know! Like, get a real job then. <laughs> Anyways, listen, I'm going to be arriving in Milan at 6 p.m. So don't be late, okay? Did you say you're going to Milan? Yeah. They just announced a gate change to gate A57. But that's at the other end of the airport. Oh, you better hurry then. You're going to miss your flight. Hey, I gotta go. This is the final boarding call for flight to Milan at gate B10. All passengers must board now. Final call. I just feel like I'm the one that's always chasing after you. You're like my puppy. Good afternoon, sir. We're starting our meal service now. Would you care for something to no. drink? Get me another server. Is there a problem, sir? I refuse to be served by an Asian. I'm sorry. I'm actually in charge of this section, so it will be me serving you, sir. You can stop talking to me now because I don't understand Asian, so just get me your supervisor. Certainly, sir. Hello, you requested to speak to me? The server can't even speak English, and I need someone that can understand me, so can you just send me someone else? Sir, all of our crew speak English, and you are sitting in her section, so you will be served by her. I don't want an Asian serving me, all right? I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, sir, but uh, you're, you're Asian. What does that matter? Okay, well, your request is denied. My colleague over here will continue to serve you because this indeed is her section. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the captain to turn the plane around so we can offload you. You will further be blacklisted off this airline, so what would you like to do? Fine, I just won't eat or drink anything then. Sir, would you like chicken or beef for your meal? Still at it? All right. All right. Okay. <phone rings> Sir, would you like a snack or a drink? Are you sure? Because this flight is 16 hours and if you don't... Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. <phone rings> Sir, we're serving dinner now. Are you sure you don't want anything? Okay, please, at least have some water. You're, you're looking a little bit... Uh, oh, okay. You know what? I give up. I give up. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Hey, where's that mean guy? I didn't see him leap yet. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen him. Sir? And then up. We all got to join the game. Okay. Oh, man. We all got to get Pio on a John I got only download it. You get in Santa me. Oh, my God. You're going down. This is so lame. Three, two, one! <gasps> Stop! Jimmy, who downloaded this? I got a map, Reicher app, subway map and schedule, airline app, hotel app, shopping app, best places to eat app, and translation app. Very nice, Jimmy. 
Jinxin! Yeah, I got all that plus NordVPN. What's that? It's a paid app that decreases the chances of us getting hacked while we're using unsecured Wi-Fi while we're traveling. You don't need that. Oh yeah? Then how do I know that all your passwords are I love weenie dogs and that you only have $2.58 in your bank account? Oh, and you know that guy you've been sending photos to in Spain, Fernando? Well, he's actually a 50-year-old man from Queens. <laughs> yeah, no sir, no, she's holding some off the cat! Mama, you know all that K-drama you can't watch because you're in the wrong country? Well, now you can watch it anywhere in the world. Due to an overbooking, we're looking for one volunteer to take the next flight out tomorrow and in exchange, we'll be giving you a $200 travel credit. $300. $400. Hello, I'll take the next flight $4,000 cash. $750. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else. You see, they all got places to go, people to see. I'm alone and depressed, so I might as well make some bank out of my situation. Know what I'm saying? Fine. Thousand dollars, travel credit, no cash. Seriously? Oh. <clears throat> and I would like a hotel because the flight is tomorrow and I need a place to stay. That's reasonable. And I would like to be upgraded to first class on my flight tomorrow. Okay. And I would like a uh, massage voucher for the stress that this flight change has caused. Don't me. push it. I'll take it. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 23, let's go. There's a trending topic right now that I will address based on my personal experience. Do we clean the coffee pots in the coffee machine? I have never personally cleaned it. Then does the ground crew clean it? I don't know, you gotta ask someone who's ground crew, but personally, I thought they would clean it or, you know, exchange the pots at least. Is the coffee and tea safe to drink? I drank a minimum of five cups every shift and clearly, I'm still alive. As for my health, I think I'm okay. But for my mental health, may be questionable, but that's from the passengers, not from the coffee. All right, mm -mm. the crunching's got to stop, okay? It's very irritating. Can you please? Take a chill pill, angry lady. Here. I share, feel better. That's surprisingly very nice of you. <clears throat> okay, this room needs to shut up. Hey, besties. Today, I'm going to take you inside my brain for a minute and show you how I solve problems fairly. All the passenger problems we encounter are so different that it's our job as crew to assess the situation and provide the best solution. On my most recent video regarding the plus size passenger, some of you felt that it was unfair that just due to your size, you would get an upgrade. Based on the scenario I provided for you, that was the best solution. But let's play around with the roles a little bit. Let's be real, rude passengers come in all shapes and sizes. So what would have happened if this passenger was actually rude? Do you guys think I would have upgraded that passenger? Hell no. I would actually feel bad for the passenger sitting next to them. So I would give them the upgrade. Right? So the rude passenger gets more space and everybody wins. I hope that helps. Hello, Sarah. What would you like for your meal? Uncle Roger will have the egg fried rice. Excellent choice. Here you go. Enjoy your meal. What is this? What is this? What is this? Why the rice so wet and the egg look like rubber? Uncle Roger make egg fried rice video. You should watch it, teach you how to make it properly. Sir, I didn't make that. Uh, the chefs on the ground actually made that and then they froze it for not sure how long. But then they give it to me and I just pop it in the oven and uh, give it to you. Hiya woman, you trying to kill me? Usually it's a yes, but I swear this time I wasn't. Here is a flight tip for all the beautiful plus-size passengers. As I was scrolling through the comments on this recent video, many of you have mentioned that you get a lot of anxiety asking for a seatbelt extender in front of all the other passengers. So here is a tip for you. When you are boarding the plane, ask a crew member at this time for that seatbelt extender. Some airlines actually keep the seatbelt extenders right where you're boarding, so they'll give it to you right away. 
And if they don't have it there, that's okay. You can give them your seat number and after boarding is completed, they'll be able to give you a seatbelt extender without you even having to ask for it. So the only person that'll hear you is a crew member while everyone else is busy boarding. I hope your next flight is going to be better. Miss, we need to inspect your bag. Oh, okay, sure. What is this? That's my favorite show. Pornographic material is illegal in this country. No, 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 it's not what you think. I need to report you. Shit. What's going on over here? She's trying to bring pornographic material into our country. Sex in the City? I love that show. Samantha's my favorite. She's good to go. <gasps> Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 14, let's go. So how long is a cruise shift? Why don't we break it down? The longest shift I've ever had with Emirates was from Dubai to Houston, Texas, which was 16 hours. We also need two hours before the flight for our pre-flight security checks and our briefing. And then upon landing, we have to let the passengers leave first. Then we go through customs. Then we get our bags and then we make it to the hotel, which is another, let's say two hours. So in total, it's about 20 hours. Do you still think you can be cabin crew? Lindsay, I need your help. Shh, I'm on my break. Leave me alone. It's an emergency. Literally everything is an emergency, so go away. I'm serious, I think someone's dying. Is there a doctor on board? Yes, but we still need you to help. Then they have a better chance of surviving than if I help them. Tokyo, copy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 지금 뭐 하는 짓이에요? 커피 있다 그랬잖아요. 커피 말고 커피!